just felt that something has to be done and not everyone likes talking to the police not everyone likes talking to the council so if i can be that middle person that you can chat to and i'm just a normal guy then it makes more sense do you use one of the ones uh, i don't know um, oh. when i go out i wear a stab proof vest and a body worn camera um, my own protection just in case um, before i turn up to actually pick up the weapon i'll ask for a photo of the, the weapon so i know what i'm picking up the size of the weapon if, uh, how far i need to be standing for my own safety um, as soon as i've got the image i call the police i log it with them so they're aware so when i'm walking on the street because i'm just a normal person when i'm walking on the street they give me a cab reference number if i get pulled over along the way i give them that cab reference number it saves me from being arrested for possession oh. um, i can still be arrested even though it's your job but because where i've got a following now um, i've got a following of just over three thousand people um from doing this and it's starting the police are starting to be a bit more on a level with me now what? One what? Second. Let me just go through the so have you rode any trains that um people have threatened you in sorry have people friend you in public public transport? So, um, what do you mean? Do I, can, do I carry the weapons on public transport? No, 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 no. Like um, somebody has threatened you on public transport. No, no, no. I've never been threatened in public transport. Okay. Um, what's that, what's Again, the yeah, biggest yeah, weapon you yeah. have got, um, gave to the police? Um, it would probably be either one of these two. Uh, they're large machetes, they were probably the size of my arm, maybe a bit longer. Parasols <laughs> around. And yeah, obviously the samurai swords. Um, the air rifle was pretty big, it was probably about that big. <laughs> yeah, because like, um, most people would carry anything <laughs> to hurt someone. <laughs> like, tunnels, anything. Yeah, like machetes. Do you get paid for it? I don't get paid for it. <laughs> so, this is... My main job that I do is security, um, and I do environmental enforcement. This is something I do when I finish work or when I first wake up. Like one of the Yeah, so I do this. My girlfriend has a go at me because I'm constantly online trying to do stuff, reaching out to different people. Do you um, do this in schools as well? or? Uh, yeah. So, well, I've done one school so far, which is probably. Um, but yeah. Which way I'm going right now? Oh, right there. Yeah, what year did you deal with this one? What year did I do? Yeah. It was for the bridge students. Yeah. I can't remember what year it was though, exactly. Yeah, you know. It might have been. Yeah. About that year. I used to go to Woolwich Poly myself, so. Yeah. It's good to go back to my old school. I was kind of bad in school. So now it's good to go back there and do something positive and try to help other young people. Your turn. Um, are you trying to like change the difference into like stabbing in London? Uh, well, I mean, just this week alone, there's been over sixteen stabbings in London. Wow. Um, obviously there was a shooting in area. Um, what I'm trying to do is just be that middle person. So, if people, gang I members, don't want to go to the police, I like trying to end stabbing. If I'm honest with you, being completely honest, I don't think we'll ever end knife crime as a whole. Because um, yeah. you can always snap someone with a broken bottle, screwdriver. Yeah, I know. People still need to go and cut, like, beef in it. And that, yeah. You know what I mean? That's what they should be using a knife for. That's why they're risky. Um, they, they Mark, the not a carving knife. A carving knife was definitely made to chop up people, and that's a statement. <laughs> Um. <laughs> Who made the, the carving knife? Damien's got a question. Oh, um, okay, then I'll be on board. Um, if you pick up a knife which sort of been done in a crime, does the police even look like, do, do they just take it and don't do anything with it? So every knife that I'm handed, yeah. um, I make sure that I keep it 100% anonymous. Um, for them to obviously keep that part is they most likely wipe the weapon down. Mm. Um, if they don't wipe it down good enough and They've been arrested previously by police. That's the chance there is. Um, I explain everything in full to them. I let them know that I won't be giving their personal details, but if they've left prints on there and, and the police obviously 
Do you give them a chance to clean it down before they give it to you? I'll let them know before they come. If it's down to you what you do, I'm not physically going to tell you wipe the prints. Um, yeah. That'd be illegal. Do you wear gloves? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm never going without gloves. How do you carry these uh, weapons? Do you have any special bag or...? Uh, so I don't actually have knife <coughs> tubes. I have asked the police and the council, but because it costs money, you know, I want to give them that for free. Yeah. Um, wherever my bag is, so I use my football bag. Mm -hmm. It's hard. You told it's hard surface. You have got big uh, corruption, like in in size. some of them instances where I've had the handle hanging out. Um, I won't walk and travel to the police station. Um, Obviously, yeah, you, you yeah, can like Someone sees me walking down. And there's a knife handle hanging out. It's gonna, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna cause me problems. Um, so I. I'll stay where I am in a safe location as long as I'm safe. I'll make sure that the police come to me oh, directly. So, yeah, in that case, they are collecting from you. And if they don't, from, I'll just I'll the press them into it. So. Why was you in the gang? Why did you join the gang? I weren't in the gang, no. Um, some of my friends have been. Um, my younger brother was groomed into selling drugs. He's now out of that life and he's now working every day. He's now got two kids. Well, one kid and one on the way. So he, he got out before he got too deep into it. Um, but if he didn't, some of his friends that carried on doing it ain't here now. Okay. How much do you, um, so how much do you normally um, get like in a day? Um, what is the normal amount you find? Uh, some days I could have nothing for weeks, maybe a month. And then other times I could have two, three collections on a day. It's just, it depends who I'm chatting to and if they want to hand them out to me. So, this is a question that I've been waiting for. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, do you find the difference in um, how white kids are with um, the crime? Uh, if I'm honest with you, it's, it's very mixed. Also, knife crime don't discriminate. Um, do, do you find more black kids more than white kids when you take away the no, knives? It's, it's literally it's equal. It's not it's not more black people than white people, it's not more white people than black people. What about mixed people? It's all the same. Literally it's yeah, that's not If I could show you obviously what I do is anonymous, but if I could show you face wise, you would be shocked because everything you see in the media it's always black kids this, black kids that. And it's not. It really ain't. And if you see some of the people I've met, I've had knives off of 60 year old women that have got it from their kids that they've left a bag in their house and stuff. And this lady worked for uh, British Airways as a air stewardess. And her son had this, this, uh, this one, and a few others. Um, he went to university. He, he had a good upbringing. Um, he had he worked poor. And his mum had nice money around her as well. Um, and yeah, he still was in possession of all them weapons. His mum then asked me. She brought a bag of wires over and asked me if her son was a terrorist. And that's that was a white boy. So it's, it's it completely varies. Obviously, depending on the area you're in as well. Um. So. How many like items do you say that you have collected over like the one year that you have been, you know, doing this? Over a hundred weapons. What do you think about these areas? Which one is the worst? Like village area? If I'm honest with you, yeah. This borough is very, very Woolwich. bad. Yeah, the Woolwich, the Greenwich borough, the Bexley borough as well. Um, yeah, Bexley, yeah, I have that. Yeah. Tensby Navy Wood at the moment is. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, I'm trying to do more work down there. I've done a pop-up boxing event in Woolwich and one in Deptford a couple of weeks ago. Um, I'm hoping to do another one, hopefully this month, maybe beginning of next month, in either Thamesmead or Abbey Wood or both. Did you both. see 2K box? They've just had a box pop up in there last week. It's like a wheelie bin thing to come and put your knives in. Oh no, they have contacted me though. Oh yeah, yeah I'm in Alison set and... it up last week. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe she hasn't put it up yet and she's waiting for you to... I think that's what it is, yeah. Okay, because I had to collect the wheelie bin for her. 